I've just hit record, guys, so you're all very, very welcome to my masterclass, which is the top three mistakes that people who are going after their dreams make that leave them feeling burnt out, frustrated, and deeply unhappy. So glad that you have joined me here. If at any point you have any questions, type them in the chat window and I'll try to get them to them at the end. Welcome Magella, who's just joined, and Laura, lovely to have you guys here live with me. So I'm just going to get going. And uh, welcome also to everybody that's watching the replay because I'm recording it. Quite a few people did message me asking me for the replay. So welcome to you guys too, whenever you're watching it. Okay. So this masterclass is for you if any of the following applies. If you've been doing all you can to go after your dreams and nothing is working for you, or very little is working for you, or it's not happening as quickly as you would like it to. If you're feeling tired, overwhelmed, and like that dream that you have might never happen. You might have given up on it. Or if a part of you is resigned to the fact that your life is always going to be a struggle. You know, I can recall feeling that myself. I really didn't know. I thought, well, you know, some people are made to struggle. Some people are made not to struggle. I'm one of the ones made for struggle. You know, I didn't realize how much power I had to change that mindset and that idea. There might be a lot of blame and self-sabotage going on. You know, um, when I was typing that, I, I remember for me, <laughs> This was a long time ago when I was working at the UN and I was feeling really so destroyed in my job and one morning somebody said to me, gosh, I saw you in the car park coming into work and you looked so unhappy. And I remember, you know, now I realize that I had a sense of shame around that, you know, it's like, gosh, you know, um, I'm not happy and, you know, feeling joyful and full of purpose like other people are. And um, I really felt, you know, that's my fault. and. You know, so I can remember, I can remember that, uh, that struggle, that feeling. And, and later on when I became an entrepreneur also, you know, those times where when I wasn't making it and just not knowing what to do, um, everything I did was, was really not working out, which I'll share about in a moment briefly. Um, also for you, if you seek out spiritual outlets to deal with your struggles and feel helpless, stuck and low too often. Now that's maybe a strange one to put there and I hesitated because of course seeking spiritual outlets is fantastic. You know, I'm a very spiritual person. I was a lot more into, into you know, I think I used it to escape a little bit. I, I'm sure I did really use it to escape rather than, you know, um, taking action and doing, you know, stepping outside my comfort zone and doing what I needed to do for my business. Um, you know, I thought, oh, it's not working. I'll just, you know, uh, go and meditate <laughs> and I'll, I'll feel better. And of course, meditation, I'm all for it. But when we're using it to escape from doing what we really need to do in order to feel better and lift ourselves up and live that life that we totally can live, then that's uh, something to look at. Or this masterclass is for you if you are somebody who just wants to uh, listen in and see Hmm, how can I help others that have uh, these symptoms? How can I help others and let them know what mistakes to avoid? Because I will be sharing the top three mistakes that are, of course, you know, my in my opinion, but uh, hopefully they'll bring you a lot of value and food for thought. That's what I'm here for, to give lots of value today. Okay, so our agenda is basically how to understand the mistakes you are making so you can avoid those mistakes and um, instead live the life that you want to live, that you really want to live. And my job today also, I really, 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 really want you to believe by the end of this masterclass that you can have that life that you want to create, that it is for you and to believe that it's possible for you. Okay, so just very briefly, I don't want to talk much about myself, but for those of you who don't know me, to give you a little bit of background, um, I want to let you know a little bit about what I have done. So, um, like I told you briefly, you know, I, I did have, I did struggle a lot with my thinking. Um, I was very insecure, very low self-esteem. I remember actually, I must have been about age 20 doing a questionnaire in this class I took. And it was, we had to answer on a scale of one to 10, what was our uh, self-worth, you know, how we valued ourselves. I remember writing down three out of 10. That's 
how low my esteem was of myself, which is very, very sad when I look back on it. And it really reminds me, I want to do um, a mindset program for teens because, you know, if I had had that, if I had known that, you know, it was, I, I had the power to, to increase that, would have made a huge difference. Anyway, later I did go on to do that and I'm so grateful that I did. Uh, I did figure out that it was the only thing that was holding me back was me. Uh, I've also decided and continue to decide on a daily basis, including today, that done is better than perfect. This masterclass is not as perfect as I would like it to be, but it's done and I'm delivering it and I'm connecting with you guys and that is the most important thing and that really is my motto because um, I'll talk a little bit more about that later, <laughs> about perfectionism. Okay, testimonials then started to flow in from my work, which I do now. Um, I'm a mindset coach and I like to call myself a life up leveler. I like to help people to up level their lives basically. So when that happened, I realized um, that, you know, this, uh, it's not just in a session, during a session with a client that the transformation happens. Transformation happens and, you know, really can last a lifetime. And anybody who is a coach or a healer that's uh, listening in or offering a service that is helping people to transform, remember that you're adding value that they get for life. This is why um, it's better to offer programs rather than charge by the hour if you are charging for your services by the hour because you can't put an hourly price on it. It's really, if you think about it, <clears throat> uh, you know, the person's investing with you to, uh, for a lifetime of transformation. You know, really can, you know, the person makes choices based on that in the future that uh, can change the, the rest of their life. Other random facts about me before I go into more detail. I lived in seven different countries. I worked at the UN for 10 years. I worked with children with learning differences, mainly dyslexia. I had a company called Love to Learn for five years. I donated a kidney, random fact, <laughs> to my sister. Delivered 20 workshops to women from the Nairobi slums when I lived in Nairobi for a year. Uh, won a green card in the US lottery, worked at Coca-Cola headquarters in Atlanta in 1992. 1992. That is when the Atlanta Olympics were. <laughs> and I got seconded to work on the Olympics during that time because Coca-Cola was a sponsor. That is 24 years ago. Imagine the Olympics in Rio are starting on Saturday. So uh, that is uh, yeah, quite a time ago. Let me just welcome to the people who've just joined, or I can see have joined. I'm just looking for the chat window. If you guys uh, want to make any comments or anything, I can check in from time to time. Any comments? Yeah. Okay, what led me to this masterclass? So like I said, I'm a mindset coach and life up leveler. I'm really most passionate about helping people to feel happier and more alive and more empowered and more full of purpose. Um, so that's, it's hard to, I haven't found a word yet. Life of Leveler seems to describe it best. Help me out if you can think of anything that describes that like in two words. <laughs> I did certify as a facilitator of the work of Byron Katie. Um, I discovered the work of Byron Katie about eight years ago and that has had a dramatic effect on my life in a positive way. Um, I really think it, you know, I had a basic level of personal growth. I was always interested in personal growth um, in my, I think from even my teens. Um, but it wasn't, you know, it was always, you know, those books were nice to read. Um, it was only when I did the work of Byron Katie, I discovered personal responsibility and how I can help myself to make the changes, you know, instead of blaming others and my external circumstances. Prior to that, you know, I used to think, oh, poor me, because that happened to me, or poor me, because I'm not as confident, or blah, 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 not knowing, well, actually, that's totally in my hands. Anyway, that uh, was uh, something so powerful for me. I did actually decertify in the work um, earlier this year or last year, I can't remember now, uh, which was a difficult decision but a very freeing decision because um, I would like, like to not follow, you know, the rules of a particular um, process. I definitely use that process with my clients and implement it, but um, yeah, I wanted to develop my own what works for me and bring that to, to, um, to my clients rather than being a strict follower of that process. And it was a really good decision for me. 
I spent a huge amount of money on coaches and I struggled, that's the reality. I, um, I struggled for two reasons. I was burnt out, frustrated and deeply unhappy. This is when I became an entrepreneur and went into coaching. Um, the reason that I struggled uh, was two reasons. Because when you spend that money and you don't make the progress, it oof, can be really horrible and shame. Again, there's shame attached to that. And um, also, I think for the mistakes that I'm going to share with you, that's the, the reasons, you know, and I really sat down and thought about, well, what was it? What would I like to share with others so they can avoid those mistakes um, on their journeys? One 45 minute call with a mindset coach shifted me. That's finally, you know, it, did, it wasn't all in vain. And I think, you know, I didn't waste the money completely. I got things from coaches and I just wasn't implementing it. And um, when I are doing the work, basically, when I had that call with a mindset coach, I remember really shifting and thinking, wow, the sky really is the limit for me. You know, I can, it, it's in my hands and I really can create the life that I want. And that's when I became so passionate about mindset work and thought, you know what, our whole lives is about mindset. You know, if we believe it in our minds that is possible, then it will be. We can make it a reality. We've got to believe it. So everything changed after that for me. And now I know the sky is the limit. Believe me, guys, I've really, <laughs> I've got some crazy, crazy uh, visions. All good, though. Uh, okay, I wanted to just share with you, um, why was I sharing this one? Yeah, um, the work, like I was talking about earlier, that, you know, it's not just, the, the clients just don't get, a, like, a transformation in that hour that they work with, us, they, and this is really for coaches on the call and healers, um, it's, you know, think about how you upgrade their lives, you know, up level their lives, not just in that time, but for the long term. When I received this message, it was, you know, I, I get a, a lot of lovely feedback, and but this one, I thought, wow, you know, they helped me to see, that particular client helped me to see, you know, how transformational this work is, and that's why I'm sharing it with you, because if you do that work, the work that I'm going to suggest in this masterclass, you also will have massive transformation if you do the work. Okay, like I mentioned earlier, 80% or maybe 100% of success is about your mindset. They say statistically 80%, but the reason I would suggest 100% is because you know, if you have the right mindset, you naturally will take the action. You know, you've got to take action. You can't just think about it, but you'll naturally take the action if you are, um, if you've got a powerful mindset. And that's the reason why some people make it and others don't make it that are doing the exact same work, right? You know, if you give somebody $100,000, two people $100,000 and give them the same business advice, uh, one might make it and the other one not. Reasons? Yeah mindset, you know, if they've got money, mindset blocks, etc., then it's going to be an issue. Okay, and I'll go into that in more detail. This quote uh, just came to me yesterday, when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. I think that's so important, you know, that's what mindset is about, and that is one important message that I want you to take away from the masterclass too. Okay, let me get on to the top three mistakes people make that leave them feeling burnt out, frustrated, and deeply unhappy. Just keeping an eye on time, making sure that you're all still with me. Just let me know if you're all still with me. Hope no technical things happen and I don't end up talking to myself. <laughs> let me know that you're still with me. Oh, and also what I want to let you know about is that thank you guys thank you for letting me know thanks pat okay there is a free gift at the end and um yeah just to let you know if you stay on the whole time you're going to find out what that is okay the third most fatal mistake that um people make that are not prioritizing their dream if you are, sorry, that are, <laughs> third most fatal mistake that people make that are going after their dream and, and not succeeding is not prioritizing it. So if you, like I said, not realizing you have the power to change it, that's the way I was. You know, I thought that I 
didn't have what it takes, you know, I thought, well, some people are, you know, it's like this, it's as if God, when he was making us, said, okay, this person will be pretty famous, and this person, you'll just be average, and this person, you'll be a real failure. It doesn't happen like that. We're all capable of, um, you know, doing whatever we want to do. It's in our hands. Um, not making it top priority. It really has to be a top priority, and, you know, and to do that, you've got to get very, very connected, very connected with what it is you really want. And actually, we're going to do an exercise in that in a moment, just to uh, really uh, reinforce that, you know, because it, it's so important to, to prioritize it and put it first above everything else, and put yourself first. So not taking responsibility, you know, you've got to also take responsibility, take personal responsibility for that dream, for what it is you want, you know, and not make excuses about it because um, if we make excuses, then it's, uh, it, it's not going to happen. Being lived instead of being in the driver's seat. So you've got to remember that um, if you're prioritizing your dream, that you've got to like, <laughs> you're the driver as opposed to in the driver's seat, right? So you've got to do what it takes. You have to do what it takes, not, you know, wait for somebody else to do it for you or wait for circumstances to change. You know, you've really got to, you know, wrap it up and decide, okay, I'm in the driver's seat now. I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to do what it takes. Mindset. Um, and try 10xing it. That's a book. Um, Grant Cardone has a book called hmm, 10x something. I think that's the title of it. But it's basically, you know, it's like, well, if you're not getting the result, do 10 times the effort. That might sound extreme, but how important is your dream to you? And look also at what does it cost you to stay where you are. Think about that. If you really think about what it's costing you to stay where you are now, it's going to give you more fuel to realize, okay, I want to change because write 20 reasons why it sucks where you are right now, and that's going to give you fuel to change that. Write 50 reasons. The more reasons you write, the more you'll um, convince yourself of uh, and really get clear about how important it is for you to change, because we only um, live once, at least in, <laughs> with this current body that we have, and um, why not make it the best that we can, because we can. Okay, um, allowing uh, negative, uh, not understanding the universal laws. Yeah, the universal laws are really important because, like I said, you know, it's not like God decides, well, this person will be successful, this person will be a failure, blah, blah, blah. If we all, uh, on this master class, if we all were standing on a wall and we all put one foot off the wall and tilted forward, we are all going to fall off. There's not one person that's, okay, maybe if there is some acrobatic gymnast, they might have to tilt a lot forward, but it's a universal law of gravity. They're going to fall, right? These are universal laws. Now, there's many universal laws and that we're governed by, and, um, you know, the, the law of polarity is, um, you know, if, if we have success, failure, then success is possible. If we have black, or, you know, if we have a uh, front, uh, front of a book, uh, we have the back of a book. You know, if we've got uh, top of a pen, we've got the bottom of a pen. Um, that is polarities. Yeah? And because we have a uh, feeling frustrated and burnt out and deeply unhappy, we also have in our lives the possibility of the exact opposite. That is a universal law. I hope that helps. I hope that, that you could understand that because for me, when I realized that, I thought, wow, it's, and the brilliant thing is, is it doesn't mean like that's possible in the future. It means it's actually possible right now on this plane in your universe, in your life right now. They're all possible for you. There is like, deeper reasons and explanations about um, why that is. But right now, just believe me that if unhappiness is possible, then happiness is possible. We can't know happiness without experiencing unhappiness and vice versa. But they're both absolutely possible for us. Um, avoid, allowing the negative talk and patterns to dictate is another, you know, that's part of not prioritizing your dream. Um, you know, you won't prioritize it if you allow this subconscious programming. You know, from an early age we get these beliefs that, and based on that we decide whether we are um, going to be successful or bright or popular, etc., and if we're not going to be. When we recognize these beliefs, we can undo the subconscious programming, but, um, you know, also 
recognizing it as the first step, you know, to, you know, there's lots of exercises you can do like, um, I can't be successful because dot, 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 right? Ten reasons why they're your beliefs. And then you question them and um, really look at them from right the opposite of I can be successful because that is uh, negative talk. And if you don't want that to um, uh, dictate, then you've got to undo it. Not proactively doing anything to change your reality. I mean, you got to take action. And I really hope that uh, this masterclass will give you that fuel to say, okay, that's it. I'm now going to take action. Now is the time. Not in two months, not in three months, not in a year or five years. Now is the time to take action. You've got to proactively go after it. And um, really just, you know, take that time to, to, to make it a priority. Uh, another uh, way that you're not prioritizing your dream is going it alone. You know, we've got to get support and, and giving up too easily. Um, if you've got support, you're not going to give up too easily because somebody will be there saying, no, no, give up. There's this great graphic that uh, shows a man and he's chipping and chipping to try and get to the other side of a tunnel. And um, he gives up just before the, the, you know, he breaks through to the other side. It's like, don't give up. You can just be on the verge of um, breaking through to achieving your dream. Keep going. Believe me. Believe me. There were times, there were moments when I could have given up because it was, uh, there was challenging moments. And, and there still is, you know, fears still come up. But there's no way I'll give up because I'm too connected to my vision. And that's the important thing as well. Connect with your vision every single day. I do it via journaling and uh, that's a hugely powerful way of keeping it very alive in your, your vision and being loyal to it. So you need to understand this because you can do so much to change it, so much to change your current reality. I've already uh, given you some ideas but, um, but here it is basically. Keep your eye on the end results. Like I said, you know, with journaling, whatever your vision is, just keep thinking about your end results. You know, you might run into some roadblocks. Just go around them. That's okay. But keep your eye on the end results and how you want to feel, basically. Avoid instant gratification. <laughs> and that, you know, hey, listen, I love my salt and vinegar crisps. I love my chocolate. I love my red wine. <laughs> um, but the instant gratification, there is things like, you know, um, if there's some TV program on or something and you really have to get something done that's going to honor your top priority and follow your dream, then um, just do to remember this is for my dream. This is for my dream. There's been many moments in full transparency when I thought, hey, I really want to go out with the children. You know, if my husband would take the children out so that I could get some work done. And I think, oh, I'd love to. But I thought, no, I really am so committed to my dream. And it's short-term pain, long-term gain. And I don't spend all the time, you know, without uh, being around my children. But <laughs> definitely it's um, that when I have made a deal with myself to do what it takes, then I'm going to do what it takes. Deal with your pain. That's, um, you know, that subconscious programming I talked about. A lot of that is pain related. So instead of avoiding your pain, whatever it is, if you've got sadness or anger or grief going on, please, please deal with it because uh, it's going to pull your vibe down and it's important to be in a raised vibration to increase your confidence. So seek somebody out that can help you to, um, to deal with it because I promise you um, there's no way around it. You've got to go through it. You've got to feel it. And the great news is that um, nothing is permanent, that you feel it. Uh, you might cry a lot, feel afraid or feel whatever comes up. And then it's like, it's like as if those emotions are saying, well, well, thank you. I really needed to feel that. And now it's, um, it's gone. You know, it's, it's like energy that needs to express itself and it needs space. And then it dissipates, it moves on. So definitely deal with your pain. Um, and don't, you know, actively, you know, say, oh, I want to feel pain. I want to feel pain. But, you know, if, if things are coming up and you know that it's uh, something is impacting you that you haven't dealt with, you know what it is. You're thinking of it now. Go deal with it. Hang around high vibe supportive people. That's so, so important. You know, there is, they say we are the sum of the five closest people that we are around. Um, so make them high vibe supportive people. Make them people, uh, be around people that really have your best interests at heart. Um, unfortunately, when we start to up level and, you know, feel happier and do things that are really, um, good for us and 
you know, we start to, you know, people start to notice, oh, you know, they're kind of progressing. If that person is not progressing, they're going to feel um, sadder. It kind of highlights the fact that, oh gosh, look at them, they're doing really well, and look at me, I'm not, and um, they're going to try and drag you down again because it hurts them to, you know, it's not personal. They don't personally want to destroy you, but um, it's going to, it's going to, they don't want to have that highlighted to them, their lack of progress. So be around people who are on the same journey, who also want to, um, you know, make their lives better. Growth, people, people who want growth, you know, it, it, it just fascinates me how um, there's a lot of people who don't want that, who are comfortable in their, um, you know, whatever kind of misery or uh, unhappiness or settling. And because a lot of them, they don't believe, people with clo closed mindset, um, don't believe that it's possible for them to uh, change. You know it is. So be around uh, like-minded people. Stop watching the news. <laughs> Another way to solve it. Um, okay, you don't have to completely stop watching it and never know what's going on in the world, but just notice. Notice your vibration after you're watching some devastation on the news that you can do nothing about. I mean, if there's something you can do about it, great, go do it. Um, but uh, the news, they, they, they want to dramatize. They want to bring out emotion in people. It's, um, you know, the media, it's, it's money-making. And uh, I'm not saying they all are, of course. And, you know, there's very genuine uh, journalists who are sharing with us what's going on in the world, but you get my point, right? <laughs> Just don't stay in that, oh, isn't it awful? Look what's going on in the world today. It's really tragic. And we miss then all the amazing things that are happening in the world and all the growth that's happening. Okay, have clear boundaries. So um, courageously say no, courageously say, I'm not available for that anymore in my life. I'm available for growth and positivity and uplifting things and uplifting people. And I'm available for my vision for following my dreams. Ask for support or hire support. Uh, again, I'm saying it, you cannot do this alone. We're not meant to do this alone. Okay, and get your vibe up. <laughs> I think I just worked out what is the chat window, said somebody. I can't, I can't work out who said that. <laughs> but my granddaughter said today, why do they, oh, love this, I love this patch. Pat's granddaughter said, why do they put so many bad things on the news? Don't they realize I'm listening? Oh. Brilliant. Children are so clever. Out of the mouth of babes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's lots of good things going on in the world as well. It's like that law of polarity, but we're we'll just on the news here about the bad things. Okay. Uh, right. And talking about high vibration, that's uh, from this work that I'm, that I'm sharing with you and from these tips that I'm sharing with you, they really do work. This is a client that I worked with that I remember when she started with me was told that, or no, I think she had herself diagnosed with sad disorder. I'm not too sure if the doctor had, you know, she didn't have sad disorder at all. It was really, she didn't have the tools. She's an amazing, amazing person who's going on to do great, great things. Um, and I remember getting this message. I, she said, I've been unbelievably joyful and clairvoyant this week. It's the first time I've had a couple of clear headed and happy days in a row in a long time. I put this message in to just reinforce for you guys that if you do implement what I'm sharing with you, that it really does work and you will get the shifts that, uh, that you want to have. The second most fatal mistake that people who are going after their dreams make that leave them burnt out, frustrated and deeply unhappy. Lack of self-love, unworthiness, not feeling worthy. Um, you know, lack of self-love, like me, like I said, that three out of 10, that was my uh, self-esteem. Um, putting other needs first, and there's a few reasons for that. You know, we can put other needs first, other needs first for the need for approval. You know, that's really interesting. Sometimes when I work with clients, you know, and ask them, well, which is more important to you right now? What they think of you or what you think of you? And, and, and the client will say, well, yeah, what, what they think of me, which is really sad, you know, realization. Think, well, is that the way you want it to be? Is that really the way you want it to be? That, you know, that they should dictate your life? Or do you want what you think of you to, um, to be more important? You know, logically, rationally, it makes no sense. I do understand those fears. I suffer from them too. But um, when we see it clearly, 
how ridiculous it is that we put others' uh, needs first and their need to see us in a certain way, their need for us to uh, fulfill a certain role um, that suits them in their lives. You know, we say, okay, well, they like me to be like that, so I'll be like that. <laughs> it's, um, it's crazy what we do. And subconscious mind programming, again, what we might have picked up from childhood at some stage that um, we decide, well, I'm not as worthy as some other people. Um, sadly, we picked that up before, but now, if you think about it, like I said, when God was making people, he didn't say, I'll make that person worthy and that person unworthy and that person worthy. We're all equally 100% worthy. You need to understand this mistake because you were made for greatness every single one of you. Apparently we're only on average achieving 40% of what we're capable of achieving and you know some people a lot less. So start manifesting lots of worthy things happening to you. Start imagining you know lots of really great things and uh, believing that they're possible for you. It's a decision. Just decide. That's how you can solve it. Just decide, well, from now on, I'm just going to be massively worthy. I'm going to feel massively worthy. I'm just going to be like queen of my world or king of my world or prince or princess of my world. And, uh, you know, it's amazing. You can just decide to do that. It's, uh, I, I was um, listening to a coach the other day talking about, you know, and this is a really, you know, somebody who's hitting the big, big time and, you know, talking about um, also sharing, you know, that, you know, she is quite introvert and, um, you know, people, she was saying that somebody said to her like, gosh, you know, I, I can't believe how successful you are because, you know, I never, you never were particularly like, you know, amazing or better, you know, the most, the most amazing person in the, in the, uh, in the neighborhood, etc. And she was saying, well, it was basically a decision. She just decided. She just decided. And, and that really, it stayed with me. You know, well, we can just decide to be that great person. You know, I think it will make God or the universe happy because, uh, you know, <laughs> we were made, we were put on this earth. We can achieve so, so much. And it's just a decision to make sure that happens. God made me massively worthy too. That's it. Tell yourself that 10 times a day a hundred times a day. God made me massively worthy too, or spirit, or universe, higher power, whoever you like to refer to. You are so worthy. Oh, massively worth too. I'm missing a why there, but you get my, my point. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, this one I love. Uh, this was to remind me to tell you a story. <laughs> I love this. This made me laugh when this came in from a client. This client, when I started working with him, he was talking about, yeah, you know, um, well, I, there's some things that I do, like I uh, go into um, dreaming and not in, you know, I'm not really in reality. I'm in um, like a, a made up world. And, you know, so this is unhealthy and I want to change that. And I said, well, you know, it, well, tell me about it. What is that made up world? You know, they talked about, well, the dreams that, um, things that they thought, oh, well, I could never achieve that. And I was saying, oh my God, you know, you don't dare to stop that. You keep on visioning it because um, absolutely it can happen for you and you know when we there's part of us that wants that honor that honor that don't push it down and push it away because you're crushing your soul and it will really bring unhappiness that's what happened to me for a long time when you're not in your zone of genius when you're not um, following your purpose and then that will happen and oh yeah, another reason that the, I put this here is because they were manifesting, uh, sorry, I was manifesting for him. Um, that's something that I do with my clients as well is, you know, think, okay, I, I really want them to have, um, you know, some really good luck in, in this area. And uh, he was forwarding me some, uh, some amazing things that, that uh, transpired. You know, that's why I say manifest it, you know, imagine that it's possible for you. You know, the previous uh, slide where I said, start manifesting lots of worthy things happening for you. And that means when I say manifest, it's just believing, you know, deciding that you're worth it and believing that, well, actually it's possible for me. Why not me? Why not? Okay, and the top most fatal mistake that, uh, hang on a second, sorry to see it method I don't think so but just with you mentioning your type of oh right okay <laughs> Laura are we supposed to be seeing the slides oh my god are you not seeing the slides you're totally supposed to be seeing the slides 
Whoa. Oh my God. Yes. Stop showing. Are you, does everybody else see the slides? Because it says show that I am showing the main screen. So if you can just type a message in. Oh, unless you're on your phone, Laura. Hang on. Hold on a sec. If you're on your phone, you're not going to be seeing them. Emma, you're also not seeing them. Are you guys on your phones? Oh, yeah. On your phone. Yeah. Yes, Pat can see them. Right, okay. You can't see the chat box, Pat. That should be on the right-hand side of the screen that you see the chat box. If you don't see it, then there will be a little orange arrow that, uh, is, that you'll have to click on. It should bring it out. But if you're typing in the chat box, <laughs> so, you, so you can see it. Good. Okay. Thank you for that. That's, um, and anyway, actually, Laura and Emma, on your phones, when I will send out the replay afterwards, and then you will be able to, um, to see the slides. Sorry that you can't on your phones. Okay. So the top most fatal mistake is the ego. Actually, I was between two minds about this. I mean, this is the, the biggest setback for us. The biggest mistake we make is operating out of our ego as opposed to out of uh, our true nature. But um, one second. Uh, Veronica also saying you can't see the slides. No problem for being disruptive, Laura. I love that you chat with me here. Um, OK, Veronica, are you also on your phone? If you're on your phone, you won't see the slides. If you're on a laptop or a desktop, you will see your slides. I have shared the screen, so. But anyway, um, you will see it all in the replay. OK, so as I was saying, I struggled with the ego because uh, basically, OK, you know, as, as you'll see here, when I talk about when, when we're operating out of our ego, acting out of our ego, we're being too perfectionist. We're comparing and um, caring too much about what others think. Major, major, major mistake. And that's actually, I was going to make that the top fatal mistake is that caring about what others think. But I thought, well, you know what, there's a bit more to it. It's all ego. Why do we worry about what others think? A few reasons, approval as well. But that is the biggest freedom crusher ever, worrying about what others think. That is the majority of the explanation why we don't go after our dreams, uh, fear of what other people will think bottom line um you know and we think oh gosh you know who am i to you know be successful or who am i to be happy or who am i to um be you know whatever you want to achieve um you know even you can be in this pattern of if you're used to um being worried or anxious as a person as a child and you grew up in that environment then you kind of have a loyalty to that as an adult you know it's kind of there's a familiarity in that so um, a, a lot of mindset work will shift that and realizing well you know what actually I might have learned that as a child but that's dysfunctional that's not the way you know that that it should be of course I'm not, you know there's going to be moments of challenges but you know on a daily basis in general we should, should be feeling high vibe and um, loving life basically uh, being perfectionist and coming back to that one um, <clears throat> that's a massive 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 uh, reason why we will not achieve our dreams and that stems really you know they say perfectionists stay poor actually I liked I liked that when I learned that quote perfectionists stay poor <laughs> don't be a perfectionist because um, and, and and when we're perfectionists, again, we're worrying about what people are thinking. Basically, you know, it has to be perfect for them. And when I talk about ego, it's really, it's like, you know, it's how we want others to perceive us. You know, our identity. When we come into the world as babies, we don't have a name. We don't have, um, you know, we might realize we like carrot and we don't like spinach or something when we're four months old. But um, you know, so we have natural things that we like and don't like. But there's no beliefs around, oh, that, uh, that, uh, I, that person's prettier than me or uh, more intelligent than me or anything. That's later when we learn those, you know, we start to you know, learn how society operates and say, oh, you know, if I smile, I get you know, what I want. And uh, if, I, um, if I am a good child or cooperative, if I do what they say, then uh, I'll be approved of. Um, and we start to develop our identity based on that. And, uh, you know, we keep in that, you know, identity of 
for we want approval, for we want others to like us, and um, also we want to be thought of as intelligent or, um, you know, God forbid that somebody would think that we're, we're less than clever. For example, it's all ego-based, all ego-based, and it's a prison. It's an absolute prison, and it will definitely hold you back from achieving your dreams. Uh, oh, here, this actually in my Facebook group this morning, somebody posted this, and I loved it, so I decided to include it. Maya Angelou said, "If you are always trying to be normal, you will never know how amazing you can be." I thought, "Wow, that's you know what a coincidence somebody posted that, and that's really what I'm trying to say here. Um, you know, normal as in other per." other people's uh, version of normal, you know, playing that role that people uh, want you to play. Uh, you know, if you gave that up, imagine the freedom, and you just be you and do what you want to do, and really just live really. How you can begin to solve it is act out of your true nature. And um, the brilliant question to ask is, at all times, when we're in any kind of a challenge or a sticky situation or in fear or you know, even for me right now, you know, I could say, am I acting out of ego or true nature? Your true nature is when it's a natural connection and you've got nothing to prove and nothing to um, show off or, you know, there's it, fear. There's no fear behind it. You're just saying, you know, this is, uh, this is me, this is what I'm sharing. And, you know, it's like a singer or an artist as well, just creating and, you know, and that's another way how you can begin to solve it is, is be more childlike. Go back to that time when you didn't compare yourself or worry. You just naturally um, were enjoying uh, to just um, live your life, basically, the way it was meant to be lived. Enjoy. So those were the top three mistakes. I'm just checking time. Great. Yep, I've got a little bit more to share with you. But uh, the top three mistakes that I mentioned were mistake number one, not prioritizing your dream. You know, it's really making a top priority. Remember the lesson that I gave you? Uh, and I did mention that I would um, say, to, I forgot to get, to get you to do this, but you can note this down to do, to think about every single day. And starting right now, what do I really, truly want? What do I really, truly want? Those of you that know me will have answered this before more than once, but it's a question you can ask yourself every single day. You know, it's like, why am I here? What do I want? You know, what do, what do I want to, if I look back in five years' time, what do I want to have, um, to have done? How do I want to have felt? How do I want to have lived, you know? Um, it's like, and for that, you might have to think about short-term, like I was saying, you know, short-term pain, long-term gain, avoiding instant gratification, keeping your eye on the end goal. That's what I talked about in not prioritizing your dream. Really making it your top priority is absolutely essential. Because, for instance, it's like, you know, if you make it a mediocre priority, say, oh, that would be nice, so I'll just keep my, uh, keep a hand in there because that would be nice to have. It would, you know, really make my life nice mediocre kind of um, action is going to give mediocre results you know, and radical action. Radical action will give radical results. So think about, well, how could I get radical here? Be, be daring right now. How could you get radical to um, go after your dream? Yes, that thing, because I think you're just going, oh, no, I couldn't possibly do that. <laughs> so that's the thing to do to uh, make it a priority. Okay. And uh, mistake number two, well, recapping it, was feeling unworthy. And the way to solve that was deciding, just deciding that you're massively worthy. You start going around walking like a queen or a king. And, uh, you know, not to, not in an ego-based way, but just deciding I am so worthy of happiness, of goodness, of success, of uh, living this life to the full, you know, of, of um, just availing of everything that the universe offers me. I am so worthy. And affirmations is a great way to remind yourself of that. Before the affirmations, though, I would really question, you know, if there's a part of you saying, well, actually, you're not, well, actually, you're not, explore that and think, hmm, what confused part of me is saying that and why is it saying it? And deal with that. Deal with that because it will otherwise be pulling you down all the time. And um, it's like driving in a car with a brake on. It's going to, your dream, you're like, yeah, I'm going for my dream, driving in my car towards my dream, but there's this brake on. And, and that break is uh, the subconscious mind, whatever it's saying about you're not worthy, you're not worthy. So that's really important to read through that. I am worthy of greatness. That's what you've got to remind yourself. 
And mistake number three, being ruled by your ego. So remember to get over that is operate out of your true nature. And just to, to talk a little bit more about that, it's really um, connection, giving, receiving, um, just it, being natural, you know, being like uh, the, the way that underneath all that confusion and all that ego, which is fear basically as well. Um, so don't be beating yourself up if you think, oh gosh, yeah, I'm really in my ego a lot. You know, it's, it's fear and it's undoing that fear um, and, and getting to freedom. So imagine a tree in nature. I love to use that analogy, you know, a tree just grows and it just does its thing, continues to grow, grow, grow. And it does not say, oh, well, that tree over in that corner is, is thinner, is skinnier than me, or that tree's um, branches are nicer, or that tree is a nicer color. They don't, they just do their thing and enjoy their growing. So uh, that's the same for you, going after your dream and on that journey, enjoy the journey. You know, of course we focus on the end result, but you want to enjoy the journey. So the more that you're operating out of your true nature, the more enjoyable it will be. Believe me, you know, I can share personally with you that when I started out, I, I really, you know, had a very different approach where I thought, oh, I'll have to be, you know, quite business-like or quite perfect. And it was, it was quite sad and scary when I look back on my earlier videos. I mean, we've got to start somewhere, and I guess it was good that I took action, but just realizing actually that, no, you don't. The most important thing is to be natural, be yourself, and um, to connect, to connect with people, and just come back to the part of you that genuinely wants to help. Okay, so this is where you are right now. If you're watching this webinar and you really are in that um, stuck, frustrated, and uh, deeply unhappy, then, um, the truth is, an honesty moment, is that you can take all this information and stay in the same familiar pattern and do nothing about it. You know, how many times do we say, you know, read a book or say, oh, that's really nice. You know, you might have read a few yourself. You say, that's really nice. That's great information. And does something change? Not often. Not often. You know, it's rare that we hear, oh, well, yes, I, I um, read that book and uh, I attended that master class and, and my life transformed. If it does, I'm thrilled for you, I'm thrilled for you. But usually it takes more than that, it takes uh, more accountability. So um, you can stay where you are now or you can change that and you can make your happiness your highest priority. Your happiness, your dream, your fulfillment, make that your highest priority. Just a note when I think there about happiness, I do, you know, it's very important, I always emphasize that allowing the negative emotions, giving space to our negative, so-called negative emotions is part of happiness in my opinion, you know, it's possible to be feeling grief or sadness or something and at the same time to be feeling okay with that when we make friends with those emotions. That's for another master class but I just want to make that point, you know, we don't say, oh I'm ignoring all of that because, you know, maybe it, it needs space too, not for a long time but we definitely need to give some space to um, uh, whatever those emotions are and so my 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 definition of a happy life does include giving space to that as well but making that your highest priority and feeling confident and feeling basically in control of that no matter what happens you know that you'll be able to deal with it that's a growth mindset it's like okay here's my challenge so um, what can I learn from this and how can I approach this in the best way possible there's always a learning and a growth from every situation even the perceived negative ones. So think about it, if you don't do anything about uh, your situation, what is it going to cost you right now? Think about it, not right now, sorry, but in three months time, or in three years time, or five years, or 10 years down the road, think about you know your relationships as they currently are, your finances, your energy levels, and your love of life, you know, on a scale of one to ten, how much do you love life right now? If you notice being really honest with yourself, you know, that there is many moments where you um, find life really, really challenging. You know, if you want to change that and you want to experience um, happiness, <laughs> you know, that uplifting, that high vibe experience, then I promise you, you can because I did it. I have many clients that have uh, done it and even in a six week group program that I ran recently the um, transformations were quite amazing. So what I want to share with you now about is a three month program that I'm offering called Totally which is 
totally awesome. And that's why it's called totally, because it's um, really addressing not just uh, like one area of your life, not just, you know, making my business better and making my health better or making, you know, it's just our general well-being. Because I really do believe that, and I discovered this myself, that we can't just focus on one area. Like with a car, you can't go and just always service the brakes and not do anything else or always um, serve service, I don't know, make sure the exhaust is working and do nothing else. And it's the same with us and our bodies and our well-being. So when I was thinking about that, that's when I came up with uh, the Totally program. And my goal was really with that program, I wanted to be able to work with clients one-on-one, -on -one, plus uh, I just love community, I love group support. Um, I really am passionate about that, about fostering it, about um, you know, uh, holding the space for that. So like I mentioned earlier, you know, journaling and visualization also is a very powerful part of the work that I do. And I want you to just visualize for a moment, just take the time to close your eyes right now and just imagine you um, achieving the dream that you want to achieve. Imagine waking up in the mornings feeling proud of yourself, feeling motivated, feeling excited, feeling excited to take on the day. You know, imagine um, connecting with nature and feeling creative, feeling joyful and feeling healthy. It's so important, I think, that, you know, our physical health, you know, our, our diet and nutrition and our um, sport, I think that's a, that for, my, for me personally, you know, when I started to do quite intensive sport, wow, I couldn't believe how it's really uh, raised my vibration. So um, all of that is really important. And just imagine you in a space where all that is working for you and most of all confidence and your self-esteem is working too, that you feel really proud of yourself. I can tell you, I don't know, on a scale of one to 10, you know, I, I mentioned at the start about, I, I felt like a three out of 10 before my self-esteem. It's pretty high now. I'm pretty proud because I've, I've worked to make it so. And um, yeah, on a day-to-day -day basis, I feel really, really happy. So this is what totally is. What my goal with totally is, is to get you there, you know, to really give you the tools and give you the support and uh, manifest also that with you a uh, totally awesome life. And totally awesome is really very personal. You know, it can be just living simply and, you know, clutter free and, um, you know, it, it doesn't have to be like, wow, or, you know, glitz and glamour, whatever it means to you to live a totally awesome life. It's a 90 day immersion. And with that, you get three private coaching sessions with me. Um, I'm excited. I did a six-week coaching program, which was a group program, and um, it was brilliant. And I missed not having that individual attention, so I'm excited that I can offer that this time around. You'll also get 12 one-hour weekly group calls with me, where I will be doing um, spot coaching in the groups on the weekly check-ins, a private Facebook group with massive support. I'm very active in there. And um, the more that you participate, of course, the more that you'll get from that. Guest experts who share feel-good content. I'm working on that behind the scenes. I've just had some confirmations this morning. I'm asking people that I think would really um, uh, give some great advice and tips around feel-good content. We're coming up with titles this morning around, um, you know, how to how to raise your vibe, like um, five tips to. Um, get you in higher vibration and feel happier and uh, yeah, stories from people who like me, you know, have went from struggle to now living a very fulfilled life. So they will be, I'll be sharing um, interviews that I do with those just to the people in totally remembrance. A weekly growth team theme for you to focus on. So um, there's 12 weeks, so there's 12 different themes. And I'll be sending out um, emails, a daily email. What I decided, what I noticed is, in general, we're not very good at um, content. You know, when we've got a lot of content, it's even feel stressful when we don't get through all the content. And uh, so I thought, you know what, let me keep it simple because the most important thing is just to be reminded, you know, that we're, we're in this program, we're in this together, we're raising our vibe, we're committed to living that totally awesome life. And that daily email reminder, you know, with me always checking in, how are you doing? And with a daily tip related to whatever theme we're working on, I think will be a lot more effective. I'm really excited about doing it that way. And, you know, anybody in Totally will definitely feel supported because if you're getting that reminder on a daily basis, 
you can't but um, be totally immersed in it. The weekly themes, just to let you know uh, really briefly, this by the way is on a website, I'll give you the link for it in a moment, but uh, these are the themes, calling in the reality you want in all areas of your life, that's getting really clear, right, about what you want, releasing pain from the past, so important, family dynamics and rules, when we understand that and what we is expected of us and how we can break out of those rules, powerful stuff, uh, relationships, people, self-love, so important health diet and fitness I'm covering. We'll get some experts in too, uh, to, to, to share their um, wisdom on that. Solitude, inner peace, self-love, meditation, very important. For the sunrise experience, love my sunrises and sunsets. So uh, yeah, that's uh, definitely gonna be included. Nature and travel. Um, being out in nature, definitely for me, it's like a near daily thing I need to do. Traveling is also fantastic to be able to, um, you know, when we change, they say change is as good as a cure, you know, so just traveling to a different destination can also help raise our vibes. So we'll, we'll spend a week uh, talking about that and thinking about what travel plans can be made. Money and wealth creation, such a powerful topic and, you know, of course, I think most people that will sign up for Totally want to get um, financial benefits from it too, so we'll be working on that. Um, it's not just for entrepreneurs, but I know already several entrepreneurs have signed up and um, so that would be really useful. Um, just our relationship with money, having a better relationship with money um, in general is, is very powerful. Fun and creativity, it's so important to have fun in our lives and creativity, you know, going back to that childlike uh, behavior that we are, um, you know, before we had that fear and ego, you know, it's, that's going to be the week for going back to that. So you'll be doing things like drawing and coloring and Play-Doh. <laughs> Discipline, planning and focus. We can't forget that, you know, when we're making our dream our top priority, we've got to plan, we've got to be disciplined and have focus because with those three things that's where you get your freedom boundaries courage letting go of approval seeking that's another one how to develop good boundaries and communicate those boundaries easily and to have the courage to do that without fearing what other people will think of us power flow and ease that's week 12 and um, power that's about stepping into your own power owning your power and realizing that you have the power to change your situation and to flow with life that it's not something that's um, you know a battle or a struggle that we're flowing with it but always flowing in the direction of growth those are the themes this is uh, the six-week program that I um, in the growth mindset Academy this is some feedback I'm not going to read it all out to you but um, I hope just it will give you a flavor of the community it's an awesome awesome community I've been so blessed with such, uh, beautiful people in there and um, that's something that I want to also definitely create in totally um, and of course there's going to be more one-on-one -on -one, more individual attention so if you look at you know Somebody saying there, you know, pushed yourself out of a comfort zone, realized your own power, met wonderful women. There's some men in it too. They were they were quiet. I love working with men too. Men are most welcome in totally. Um, I learned that I'm not alone. Others with the same feelings, fears, struggles, and self-doubt. I mean, that's beautiful when you can connect and open up and share and notice. Wow, those other people also have those same insecurities. Then it's um it's it's really connecting and community is so important for our happiness. So. Um, I really value it a lot and um, visualization that was uh, somebody else that was what they learned I will talk about that a lot visualizing the reality that you want because you want to be in the driver's seat right not in the passenger seat and so visualize get clear about what you want and visualize it so those are that's just a taste of the transformation that was from a group program and there was no one-to-one -one support so I'm expecting massive transformation from a 12-week program with including one-to-one one -one support. So if you are interested to join Totally, you register via the totallyprogram.com. I don't know why there's no www, but uh, the web designer created that for me in that domain. So it's the Totally Program with one M, the American spelling, the totallyprogram.com. That's where you go to register. You will see that there are uh, four different registration options. One of them, um, I said, if you sign up by 31st of July, you can register in four installments. Um, and I'm, I'm just leaving that open still another few days if you still 
uh, want to uh, choose that option. Okay, the first bonus also that uh, is available with, to with um, Totally, if you're among the first 10 signups, I decided with this masterclass that I would add uh, 10 more slots for this. So if you sign up within 24 hours of watching this masterclass, then you can also avail of a 19 minute power session at the start of Totally to really brainstorm on what it is you really want to get from it. It will be an awesome kickstart to the program. Um, by the way, I'll mention at the end that you can also uh, book a call with me, and um, that counts. You know, if you if you book the call in, that counts in the top ten people. If you uh, are making a decision, making phone call, and say yes, then as well, because yeah, you might have some questions. I understand that. Okay, the second uh, the value of that, of course, is five hundred dollars of that uh, call and you're getting it for free with Totally. The second bonus is an awesome three-month planner. This is a created, it's a fillable PDF planner called the Navigator, and we're gonna be using that for the program, which is really exciting, and you guys are gonna get it for free. It's created by a beautiful woman in uh, Romania called, uh, no, in Hungary, I'm sorry, in Bucharest, um, called Raluca, and um, she actually, I also have, I have the hard, the, the paper, version, but um, it, it is beautiful, but uh, you'll get for free the PDF version. That value is $39. Okay, oh, here is just one um, example of a, one beautiful person called Natasha that was on the six-week program, and it's a really long testimonial, but I, what I love about this is um, this was taken, we sometimes make t to see the sunrise, you know, to catch the day at the start of the day in all its glory. And um, she did amazing transformation. Natasha uh, committed to the program and, um, you know, like she said here, the most important things I realize now is I have the power to create my own reality and I can decide what I want in my life. That just really fills me with joy that you know, that she got that realization because, you know, once we realize that, you know, the sky's the limit, we're, um, we're not a victim anymore. We can achieve anything. She realized that thoughts still, that thoughts become things and her lifestyle is changing, changing the way she eats, the way she thinks. Uh, don't, I know that I don't need uh, my, if that was somebody close to her, their approval or even anyone else's approval to do what I want to do. I mean, the freedom in that. I'm the most important person in my life. I love myself and deserve the best. I mean, I just love reading that, you know, that she has that knowledge now. And um, she says, you raised my vibe and made me shine many times and it felt awesome. Which, of course, I felt awesome too because, you know, just seeing people's vibration raise was uh, really amazing. So that I am 100% sure is also going to happen in totally and more because of the one-to-one -one support. I have to say that the to to totally is not for uh, just to um, be aware of this if you're thinking about signing up. If you're someone who prefers to pay someone to fix you and make little or no effort to fix yourself, it's not for you because this really is, I'll talk a lot about personal responsibility and you have the power and that means that you also have to do the work. So it's not a program for, um, if you believe that, okay, I'll just pay that and then I'm gonna feel better. It's not going to happen. Or if you have a tendency to blame others for why you don't get results, instead of taking back your power and looking at what you can do to change, that it's also not for you. So um, it's for me, I really, it's like a, an environment that I want to protect. It's a community and I want um, only people who are on a mission for growth and positive change and with high vibrations. So it's important to me to protect that and to not have any energy in there that pulls the vibe down. So uh, I have to make that disclaimer. So just to remind you again, what Totally is, is a 90 day immersion in Total Living. It starts Thursday, 1st of, December, 1st of September and runs for 90 days. You get three private coaching sessions with me or four if you're one of the in the top 10 to register. You get an additional 90 minute call. Those three private coaching sessions are 60 minutes long. You get the 12 one hour weekly group calls, a private Facebook group with massive support, guest experts sharing feel good content. I'm excited to share that with you. A uh, weekly growth theme for you to focus on. There's the 12 themes that I mentioned. 90 bite sized emails content, containing content to keep you on track and continuously focused. 
the bonus is, I said, for the first 10 and 90 minute power session and an awesome three month online fillable planner called The Navigator. So to register, go to thetotallyprogram.com. And I'm not sure, guys, I'm sorry if I didn't even, I don't know if I told you the price. Did it say? The price of the program is $1,997. For some reason, sorry, I'm just going back through the slides. It doesn't seem to be there, but that is the, the small price for a massive transformation. Remember, this is a lifetime transformation, and you know, think about it. What's it worth to you? What's it worth to you to make that massive transformation again? Think about where you are now. Think about if you, uh, what will happen if you don't take action on um, creating the reality that you want and going after your dream as opposed to if you do take action on it. I would love to have you on uh, Totally if all of this is resonating with you and if you're really ready to um, yeah, make those changes, make that uh, positive growth and uh, yeah, to feel totally awesome by the end of the year. So if you want to, um, there it is, it's at thetotallyprogram.com. That's the link. Let me also, I can type it in the chat window to... Um, a second, the totallyprogram.com. That's the central. That's the uh, link to sign up. And if you have any questions or if there's anything you want to run by me, I'm really happy to speak with you. And I have created some extra space in my calendar over the next few days to do that. So you can have a 20 minute call with me, a decision making call. So it's a bit.ly link, bit.ly slash forward slash totally call. So let me type that in too, bit.ly forward slash totally call. Now that is if you have any questions. If you are absolutely positive that uh, this is for you and this is what you want, then go ahead and you can sign up and pay in either uh, four installments of uh, $500, uh, three installments of, oh gosh, I, I have to check, $700. Um, that's uh, and two installments of $999, I think, and, or one installment of $1,997. I have to check the installment options, but if any of them um, is, uh, if you want to adjust any of those, send me a message or get on a call with me and we can discuss. Okay, guys, I hope that this was uh, beneficial to you. Oh, I'm sorry I went over time, but uh, not by too much, uh, luckily. Um, for those of you who are watching the recording, you can also uh, book in a call with me too over the next few days. I wish you an awesome, awesome, awesome weekend. I'm about to start my weekend in the next uh, hour or two. And uh, yeah, let me know if you've got any questions. Have a totally awesome, awesome weekend. Bye.